Hi. Um, this is going to be my face care routine. This was a request um, from a couple of people. Thank you guys. Um, I didn't know you'd be interested in my face care routine. It's super, super easy and very, very inexpensive. Um, the first thing I do is I use one of these. You'll see me looking in my mirror because my camera directions are not that good. And I need to make sure I'm actually getting um, my makeup and stuff off. Um, I use the Olive Olay Hydrating Cloth. And I use the one for normal to dry skin. Let me give you my age and my skin type first. I'm 40 and my skin is dry. Very dry. So that's what I'm working with. Um, the first thing I do is I take off my eye makeup. And I use extra virgin olive oil. Because I found it to be one of the best eye makeup removers out there. So I just put some on my cotton ball and wipe off my eye makeup. One more. Okay, all my eye makeup is off, and so now I'll take my all the moisturizing white, I'm going to move it This whole thing soaps up on its own. And just Next I use my apricot scrub and it's by St. Ives and it's for all skin types and my skin can actually I can use this on my skin every night and it's not too harsh it doesn't bother it at all and if I don't do it at night I'll do it in the morning there's also another scrub that I use on my face and it's called brown sugar scrub and the one that I love is made by Warm Spirits. However, the company has gone out of business. So I'm going to have to make my own. So I'm going to make my own. And if it comes out good, I'm going to make a video on how you can make your own. And we can all save some more money. I hate they quit selling that scrub though. It's really good. So I'm going to... Rinse this off and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've done my scrub and then next I use Witch Hazel as my astringent. Just 100% Witch Hazel. This my little. Let me know if I did a good job cleaning. Just go over it. Like this. And it's all clean, so that means I did a good job. And then I finish off with Pond's skin cream. And I use this morning and night. My skin sucks it up like a sponge. So just put this on. I have a grandmother. She's passed away um, in December of 2008. She was 100 years old. And she looked great. I'm going to post a picture for her so you can see how great she looked. And this, this is what she used. Every day. So this is what I'm going to use. 
and so just move it on. And after a few minutes, my face will soak all the way up. And that's it for my nighttime routine. And um, stay tuned, and you'll see my morning routine. It'll be the next day. All right. Hi guys, I'm back. Good morning. It's the next morning. I'm going to show you the rest of my skincare regimen. The morning is a lot quicker than the evening. In the morning, I just wipe my face off with a wet face cloth. And I've already wiped it this morning because I had my shower and everything, but just going through all the stuff. I go through them. Um, so I just use clear water in the morning because I've done all the cleansing and get, getting all the oils and dirts and makeup and all this stuff off at night. The next thing I do because I don't use a liquid foundation with um, SPF in it is I put on my Neutrogena um, Age Face Shield 70 SPF and it's I just spread it all over Um, it's really smooth, but it's kind of, it can leave like a, a white residue, so you have to rub it in really good. And it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. And then on top of that, I put a little bit more of the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. Not quite as much as last night, but just a little bit more. That's it. That's all I do for my face regimen. That was my night and then I just did my day. And so the next thing I would do is go ahead and put my makeup on. Alright. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments just post below in the box.